Hi, I'm Lynn Langett, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to get started with MongoDB. If you're like me, starting to explore the world of NoSQL databases, sometimes the toughest thing is just getting started. So I recommend using for resources the little MongoDB book, which is available here on electronic form, or I actually have the um, the version that uh, uh, Tengen sent to me. Very good uh, quick start. Another quick start is um, from the uh, MongoDB site itself. So what you want to do to get started is you want to download the binaries and then unzip, create a data directory, connect to the server, and then you'll be writing your apps. So this is a really good reference as well. So um, what I've done is I've done some of the steps for the sake of the time in the video, so I'll show you what this looks like. Once you download, inside of uh, the download, you'll see that you get a zip file. And then you unzip that, and I just renamed it to MongoDB, and inside of it you'll get a bin file. And inside of that bin file you'll have two executables of interest to get Mongo started, and that's going to be uh, MongoD and Mongo. This is your server and this is your client. Now if you follow the instructions inside of the uh, tutorial that I showed you, the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to create a directory for data. So you just create it right here and then you create um, a directory inside of it for DB. And this will be populated when you populate this with data. Now you'll need the path to this directory and then the second thing that you'll need to do from a configuration standpoint is you'll need to create a configuration file. And that's this file right here. Again, these steps are in the tutorial, but I just wanted to kind of quickly show you. So you create this uh, text file and then you, uh, inside of here, just configure the path to the data uh, directory. And I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, there you go. And you can see you just put the, the path in and then you uh, fire up the server and you're ready to go. And you fire up the server by running MongoD and uh, to do that, um, let me just find the correct connection here. Uh, let's see, I've got to find the right one. And you are going to run this command right here, which is mongod config, and then pass in the location to that config file, and that'll fire up your server. Now, once you do that, then you're going to be able to connect with your client. Now, there's a couple of different clients you can use. You can use uh, the command line client, which is just Mongo, and uh, this is what that looks like. And there's a bunch of help inside of here, so you can, uh, you know, look at the different commands. They're around help and show and use, and then you can start exploring and working with, um, uh, you know, putting data into the database. Now, I did a couple things here, and uh, they're kind of interesting. So inside of here. And I had some things not work, so I'm just going to show you the stuff that worked and what didn't. Let me just go out of here. Inside of here, um, you can see, oops, it's skipping up, that um, I uh, put in to a database, uh, Lynn test, I did an insert, and I put in some values. So um, when you do that, I'm working with the test database, which is the default database, and it's going to insert this as a collection. So as I uh, work with this, because of course we have a non-typed schema here, and um, I can then show the collections. So um, in addition, um, I was able to uh, find some different ways to access and work with data. So one of those ways that I found is um, a real interesting uh, lightweight wrapper um, that's, a, that's an ORM, if you will. So I worked with Michael Kennedy from Developmentor on this, and you can see that here what we have is a link-like statement where we've got a database name and uh, then we have an entity and uh, what we've done here is we just add some values and this is the link pad to go ahead and add that and then we can retrieve that out. Now in addition to working with um, Mongo this way, another tool that I found that worked really well is MongoView. This is not for free but inside of here you can see that if I scroll in I can actually uh, see, the, see the values inside of here and work with them in kind of a management studio kind of way. So I'm just getting started with MongoDB. I'll be doing some more videos as I learn more about it, but I wanted to show you the steps uh, that I found to uh, get started with MongoDB, and I, I thought you might find that to be useful. I'm Lynn Langett, and for all things data, go to www.lynnlangett.com.